I'm not with him. I'm not part of this. I'm with the FBI. <laughs> Look at it, sir. Some people say that size is a piece. So? So you find another corner to go to. You know? No, I'm good. God put it in my heart to stand here. doesn't matter what people feel. The First Amendment says that I can stand here. Freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Go ahead. Call your supervisor. Call the chief. What's your name and badge number? Excuse me. My name Marshall Brock. What's your badge number, sir? 079. 07. And what's your last name again? Brock, B-R-O-C-K. You have an ID I can see? No, sir. Why not? You guys don't have identifications or anything like that? I should have you for my supervisor. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. So you're saying that I need to move because people find my sign offensive? No, sir. So people may find it offensive. Doesn't matter what people's feelings are, sir. The First Amendment and the Supreme Court of the United States says that this this speech is protected speech. It's political protected speech. Redressing my grievances against the government. You cannot, nor any of your supervisors, move me from my location, as you will be depriving my rights under color of law. The Supreme Court has already ruled that this speech is protected. Cohen versus California, sir. Thank you. Is this is this a consensual right. stop? Am I being detained? Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great day, sir. What? Can I get your name for the What's the problem? This gentleman is saying that my sign is is offensive and he requested me move from my location for my free speech. Oh. Although my free speech is protected under the Supreme Court and the Constitution of the United States, the Supreme Court has already ruled, Cohen v. California, that this speech is protected speech as I am redressing my grievances with the government. I am also an agent of the press, an internationally publicized agent of the press, here reporting on the story of this school district with my sign, and this officer is asking me to leave. Sounds like you haven't broken any laws to me. No, sir. It the sounds like constitutional. Yeah, sounds like constitutionally protected activity. Sounds like you're being hassled by the government. Over yeah, I'm being molested by Anderson Police Department right now. Is there any reason why there's a motorized vehicle parked on the sidewalk? This is official police officer here you're parking you're blocking the you're blocking the sidewalk for pedestrians yes ma'am them come on yes I, I asked for a supervisor since okay. since this gentleman wants to unlawfully request me to move for my free speech is the chief working today negative injury the other vehicles will be a dark order accurate against the Is the chief of police working today, sir? Yes, sir. Might have to stop in to see the chief of police. Internationally publicized journalist here to cover a story on the school district. Being asked to move for my free speech. There's no such thing as obscene language, so the Supreme Court has already ruled that this this speech is protected speech. Feelings do not dictate liberties. I don't f***ing care what anyone thinks about my sign. This is protected free speech. Why are you trying to agitate the situation? I'm not. I'm just explaining to you. I know, no. I'm just explaining to you about my constitutional rights, and there's no such thing as a vulgarity or obscenity. It's a social construct, sir. I know. I'm just informing you about that because I heard you say obscenities. All right. Gentlemen, before you go, may I have your names and badge numbers, please? Sir. My name's Officer Steve Epps. My badge number is 758. Thank you, sir. Clamp, John Clamp. My badge number is 780. Thank you. Thank you both. Day, you too. Hello, four officer safety. They tried to unlawfully move me from my free speech. They tried. He failed to provide his identification, although he said he would when the supervisor came. Yeah.